Welcome lads, today we're looking at Vitolo, 85 rated left mid card from Spain, also plays for Sevilla. He's got 84 pace, 85 shooting, 88 passing, 90 dribbling and 80 physical, but really horrible defending stat at 35. And I'll talk about that in a minute because he's got high defensive work rate and medium attacking work rate. So you'd think with that high defensive work rate, you would have a higher defensive stat, but not with this guy. And I've got to talk about these work rates. They're awful. Because of that high defensive work rate, you know, maybe in a certain position where you want your left mid to kind of push further back. But I always want my left and my right wingers further up the pitch. Like, I don't want him like that. I was able to kind of fix it, kind of, with the instructions to get him to stay forward. But that was the one thing I just did not like about this card. I mean, everything else is very good. He's very strong. He's got good enough pace. Not crazy good speed pace i'd say that's kind of a little bit of a problem as well which i'll talk about later but everything else standard good player his shooting's good he's got the three star skill moves the three star two weak foot not great but i can handle that i just can't handle those work rates but let's check out his in-game stats looking at his skill stats he's got amazing ball control at 94 pretty good crossing for a left winger at 84 pretty good dribbling at 91 okay finishing at 85 i didn't feel that it was that big of a problem, I had some chances that I felt he probably should have scored. He can't hit a free kick to save his life. 86 long passing, 88 long shots. You know, you're going to bang it in from distance with this guy. 91 short passing and 82 shot power. Now, there's one stat that I've kind of not really talked about is he's left footed and he's a left mid. And I've talked about it on the other side, but it's the same way on the left with the left footed. Don't like it. Now, looking at his physical stats. 81 acceleration, 82 agility, 85 sprint speed. He is not a quick player. This guy is not going to burn people down the wing. If you're the kind of player that just sprints, sprints, and just holds RT and R2 down, this is not your guy. He is not going to do that. If you're more of a skiller, maybe, or someone does a lot of great passing, some nice dribbling, he's your guy with that 88 pace and that, not 88 pace, 88 passing and 90 dribbling. You know, he's got very good attacking positioning at 92 which I felt wasn't really true, honestly, because of the defensive work rate pushed him back now when I changed the instructions to keep him forward. I did find he was really everywhere I wanted him to be, but just his base instructions, no. You know, he's got very good vision at 91, but let's go check out the highlights. As you can see here, Vitello gets in behind, does one man miss, does a lovely ball roll, and is just able to finish. Now, talking about the things I do not like about this guy, is his attacking positioning because of those work rates and his pace for a winger is not that great honestly trying this guy on like seven chem at like center mid or striker would be a really kind of fun project to do and he gets kind of lucky there but the pros are he's a he's strong he's a very amazing passer of the ball he's a great dribbler of the ball his shooting is definitely not a con it's not really a pro it's just kind of in that middle ground of Decent, but not amazing. But everything else is uh, good. This player will score you a lot of goals, but he isn't that great. But when you look at his price, you know, you can't really necessarily go wrong. So if you're in the market of a cheap left mid from Spain, I would uh, actually suggest you to check out the uh, other Spanish one from the team of the season most consistent that I did a review on. I think he's a, a lot better than this guy. I, I wasn't very impressed with this player, honestly. Yeah, I had some nice moments. Definitely towards the end of this review, there's definitely some amazing moments. Kind of amazing. I don't really know how amazing. He gets kind of lucky here and he just, you know, makes guys miss left, right and center. Gets through and doesn't finish that. And that's what I'm talking about. He should finish that with his finishing I felt was a little too high, honestly. I didn't think he performed at that level. Because, you know, he gets through there. Nice dribbling. That's what I talked about. He's he's such a good, like, centre mid. He would be such an amazing centre midfielder. Because he's got the great passing and the great dribbling, but not really the finishing. I mean, he could score a header or so, as you can see there. I mean, he's moderately tall. He ain't no midget out there. But he's nothing special. This player did not get me excited. There's some players that I review that get me incredibly excited, but not this guy. This guy is just kind of discarding. Well, I'll probably sell him on, but he's not someone I'm going to really remember. He is uh, not a player to remember. For you, he might be amazing, you know. I'm just expressing my opinion, and I felt that my opinion was that he wasn't very good. 
Now he goes on a bit of a nice little skill run here. He does a little drag back, does an advanced body feint to end this review. What a little run. And he does score there. You know, just inconsistent finishing. And that's regarded in a low rated player with low finishing. But if you like this video, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at FIFA Wisdom. Smash the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.